Hi there guys, welcome to DB Reptiles. Um, a little bit later than what I was hoping to do it for, but as promised, I'm going to do a video on how to probe snakes. Um, I often get asked as to how I can tell the gender of a snake. Um, this is just one of the methods as to how you can tell the gender of a snake. Personally, um, I find it a lot more reliable. Um, I'm yet to have any any false readings from probing a snake. Um, there are other ways of probing snakes. Some snakes have what we call sexual dimorphics. Um, so in the particular species of snake we're going to be using today, which are the hog noses, males generally have a little bit of a longer tail than the females. Um, some other snakes, such as the old world snakes, so things like boa constrictors and pythons, um, have little spurs on, on no, next to the cloaca. The males will have larger spurs. Um, it's believed to be that these are residual legs from from a previous evolutionary state. Um, some other snakes, females might have a little bit of a larger head, males might be a little bit more slender. Um, there's many ways, a lot of it depends as to what species of snake it is that's, that's in question. So, as said, probing snakes, um, it's, it's pretty accurate if you know what you're looking for. Um, so in this video I'll certainly show you what it is you're going to be looking for. Um, it's pretty much applicable to, to most species of snakes. Um, some of them are a lot more obvious than others. So a keen eye helps as well. Uh, so just to give you a quick rundown onto the equipment we're going to be using. First of all, snake probes. You can't probe a snake without a probe. Um, so we have quite a few different sizes of probes in here. These are only young hog noses that we're going to be probing today. So we're just going to be using a small probe here. They do come in an array of sizes. Some of them are really, really large. Um, quite quite terrifying looking, really, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think I'd want that anywhere near me. But anywho, um, snake probes. Vaseline. Obviously, a little bit of lubricant. You don't want to be going in dry. So, nice fresh pot of lubricant. With anything like this, if you're putting anything that's not meant to be going into any hole that you shouldn't be doing cleanliness is certainly something which is uh very important so here i've got some boiling water of which i'll be using to keep my probes clean um, especially because we're probing more than one snake today you don't want to be taking it out of one snake and then putting it straight back up into another you're going to want to clean your probes before before doing that so that's really important it's not uncommon for snakes to go to the toilet whilst they've been probed so it's handy to have some paper towels nearby and also some paper towels to dry your probes off as well once you've used them. Um, so that's pretty much the equipment really. With the probes, it's certainly I would certainly recommend uh, it's worthwhile even spending a little bit more money and getting a good set of probes. There are some really cheap ones out there and uh, they're really rough. The ends can be quite quite pointy. Um, it's worthwhile spending a little bit more and getting some probes that are that are well made. You know, I don't know if you can see on the end of these here that they're, they're, they're rounded. Um, so when that goes into the snake, there's, there's no chance there of, of any lacerations or any internal injuries, unless it was for me to be too forceful, uh, which is something that I'll I'll cover later. Again, you don't want any probes. You want to make sure your probes are not bent. Um, it wants to go up in a straight line. Um, certainly, if it's a bent probe, get rid of it and get another one. Um, it's worthwhile keeping this safe and, and keeping it clean so today uh, like I said we're going to be demonstrating on a, a young pair of hog noses um, so we'll start with one of them so these are a pair already these are a male and a female and um, so I can show you what we're going to be going to be l looking for um, so here we have a little or a very young um, hog nose. He's a hundred percent het toffee belly, um, and a fifty percent percent het albino. Uh, really, really friendly. So he's a uh, quite an interesting little character here. Um, the reason why I'm using a white background here is just so you can hopefully see what I'm doing a little bit easier. Um, so apologies if if you can't see this very well. I'm trying my hardest to film this. Um, this one here is a girl, she is a green face anaconda, um, she's absolutely stunning. She was recently acquired um, from one of the shows. Um, both of these guys feed like absolute pigs, they do really well. Hognoses are probably one of my favourite species of snakes. 
So just a quick note on the sexual dimorphics of these guys. Um, as I mentioned, the males often have a little bit of a longer tail than the females. Um, so these two lighter parts here, I'm hoping you can see this, these two lighter parts there, um, they're the cloacus, so that's where all the genitalia and everything is of the snake. So if we line those up pretty much next to each other, you can see the male has a really long tail and the female's nice and short. So if I can spread those out next to each other, you can see there that the, uh, the, t the size and the tail length is, is drastically different. Um, so we'll do one at a time, obviously. There, uh, I'll put her back in there for the moment. Alright then. So there's a few methods as to how to go about probing a snake. Um, I'm going to show you my method and how I do it. I imagine different people have different methods of doing it, but it it all basically involves the same kind of thing. Um, I personally like to grip the tails or the back end of the snakes like this, so it, it creates a nice straight line. There's no kinks where I'm trying to put a probe in and try and bend it around the corner. Um, it's nice and straight. This particular guy is he, is pretty chilled out, so he's probably just going to stay there, to be honest with you. Um, like I said before, we're only going to be using a small probe. Um, it's important to use some Vaseline. You don't want to be causing any, any damage to the inside of the animal. Um, I usually, personally, I usually get a little bit more Vaseline than probably what's necessary on the probe. And the reason for that is that I'll just put a little smooth covering of Vaseline, Vaseline over the top of the cloaca there and just give it a little gentle, gentle rub just so it's a little bit more moist. Um, I personally then just remove any excess Vaseline that's on there, but just leaving a little bit that's left. Now, with male snakes, they have uh, what we call a hemipenis, so they have they have two penises, uh, one on both sides, lucky buggers. Um, so when we're probing a snake, you want to be putting the probe into the cloaca, and it's going to be travelling up both sides. So we're going to try one side, and then we're going to do, going to do the other side. Um, and what we're looking for in a male is that this probe should potentially go in maybe that kind of distance. So you're looking maybe 10 scales in. Um, I'm hoping that's quite clear on the monitor there for you. There we go, it's focused. So that's probably going to go in about that far. It's important we check both sides. Like I say, he has two sets of equipment. And so basically this here is just going to be going up the length of his equipment. Uh, so what we're going to do we're just going to very gently kind of run this across the top of his cloaca here just to kind of peel back that scale and then as it peels back we're going to slide that up the side so we're creating a little bit of a, a little bit of a ridge and very very gently I can't stress this any more than what I'm doing now you want to be pushing this probe so so gently up there you really don't want to be forcing it because if this wasn't a male this probe would probably maybe travel say three scales, three or four scales, um, and if you're forcing it, then it's going to do some damage. Um, so as you can see here, hopefully I can get that to focus for you. So we've done one side, I'm going to place my finger pretty much just in line with this cloaca there, so when we pull this back out, we can see the distance in which that's travelled. So that's how far that has disappeared into this particular individual in here. Now as I said, males have two penises so we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side gently roll this across sometimes it takes a little bit more fiddly when the snakes are small gently roll it across to find the other the other opening same thing again just very very gently push that up there you don't want to be distressing this animal in any way um, any more way than what you already are doing anyway so and again we're just going to place our finger on there and we're going to pull this out. I, up, I really do apologise for the focusing on this camera. It's not easy doing close-up work. So again, as we can see here, it's gone in the same distance both sides. There and there. Um, so that's 100% a male. There's, a, there's no way in which you can argue with that. With the males, as I was saying, that probe just travels down the length of his equipment. On a female, as you'll see in a couple of minutes, it's only going to go in maybe three or four scales at the most. It's just going to be hitting musk glands. Um, one thing I will say, I have seen people that have who are new to snake probing. Um, they've tried probing down. Seriously, that's not a good idea. Um, probe, you need to be probing 
up. Um, if you go going down, you, you're going to do some serious damage to the animal. It's there's not it's not designed to go down that way. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you haven't probed snakes before, um, then I highly recommend having somebody with you who knows what they're doing. Um, I started out the same when I was first probing snakes. Um, I had somebody with me who knew what they were doing. I had a mentor. Um, once you've got the hang of it, it's really easy. Um, but it's not something which I would advise just diving into if you've never had any any experience in doing that before. So, that's the male. Um, just for comparison, we will do the female. and We'll just bob him back inside of his box at the moment because we'll, we'll no longer be needing this particular individual. So he can stay inside his inside of his box. Hopefully, in a couple of years' time, when these guys get bigger, um, they should be a a nice breeding pair. Um, one thing we will do before we take her out of there, as I said before, clean your probes. Some nice boiling hot water in there. And give it a good wash. No double dunking, guys. Okay. There we go. The other reason why I'm using plain paper as well, by the way, um, I know I mentioned it was for the fact that hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But if my snakes do go to the toilet, I don't want it on my carpet. Um, at least if it does it on the paper, it can go straight inside the bin then. So then we'll do the girl. She's a little, little bit more wriggly, um, so you'll have to bear with me on this. Hopefully she shouldn't be too much of a pest today. Now, as I mentioned before, the females have a much smaller tail than the males. Um, it's probably like a quarter of the length, to be honest with you, with this particular individual. So it only makes sense for the probe not to go in far. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do this one for you. So, same again. A little bit of vas Vaseline on the probes. Um, she is really wriggly, so I'm going to get a good grip on her here. Two fingers down to stop her from twisting and two fingers up to keep that tail nice and straight. A little bit of Vaseline just on the cloaca here, uh, just to keep it nice and moist on there. My excess Vaseline I'm just going to dispose of and keep it a little bit on my probe. Same thing again, Let's see if we can get this to film a bit better for you. I'm just going to run the probe horizontally across the cloaca to fold back that scale and then just tuck it up the first right hand side. And then very, very gently, we're just going to be pushing that into there. Now she's actually trying to dig herself into the palm of my hand here. Now, as you can see, I'm pushing that, and it's not disappearing anywhere. Um, so there's quite a bit of resistance there. So that already tells me that it's probably a good indication that it's a female. Again, I put my finger just in line with the cloaca and remove the probe. As you can see, it's about... It's probably played me about four scales on there, to be honest with you. I'll just retrieve my snake from around the camera because she's uh, she's disappearing around the bottom of the tripod here. So that was the right hand side. Again, we're going to do the left hand side. Um, you always want to suspect them as being a male, so we're going to do both sides here. Same again, run it across horizontally. Uh, just going to gently, I don't know if this is going to probe, just very, very gently push that up through there. Keep the tail nice and straight or as straight as you can. Again, and if you can just see that there, there's a lot of resistance. I'm not pushing too hard. The last thing I want to do is damage my snake. Um, or damage her even for even for her for her fault. So again, in line with the cloaca, remove that. It's like again four scales, three or four scales. Um so and that's that's pretty much all there is to it, to be honest with you. Um She's a little bit stressed now, so we won't be uh, we won't be probing her anymore. So we know she's a girl, and hopefully for you guys at home, you've had a little bit of an insight as to how to go about probing snakes, how to keep it clean, um, what it is that you're looking for, and most of all how to do it safely. Um, so hopefully this this for you guys was a little bit of an insight. Um, my name's Dave Brown. Um, this is us all at DB Reptiles. Hopefully you enjoyed the, the video. Uh, we are on Facebook and we're also on Instagram. So feel free to, to have a nosy. Um, leave us a like. Leave us a comment on, on anything or whatever. Share us. That would be massively appreciated. And uh, 
hopefully till next time you'll enjoy the videos thank you very much